Welcome once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to Mysteries from Beyond the Other Dominion. I'm your host, Dr. Franklin Rule. Now, the secret behind Dr. Alzheimer. Roll tape. To tell you about the man who discovered Alzheimer's disease, but first, the trivia question of the day. Let me educate him from this paper prison. What was Dr. Alzheimer's first name? Very simple, multiple choice, inverse alphabetical order. Was that Werner? Siegfried, Rudolph, Hans, Dieter, or Alois. Now the prize, the only prize for the correct answer is one pat on the back that you'll have to administer to yourself. If you want a million dollars, call Meredith Vieira. But please, please do not call us. We do not have any operators to take your calls. And if we did, we still could not afford prizes. Send me not a million dollars. I'll take a sip of water and be back momentarily with that correct answer. Okay, I'm calling time. Let's take a look at the six possible answers for Dr. Alzheimer's first name. Was it Werner, Siegfried, Rudolf, Hahn, Dieter, or Alois? And I heard Dieter. No, it was Alois. In fact, it's Al Alzheimer, basically. And here is Al himself and all his grandeur. He was born in 1864 in Bavaria. In 1894, he married a banker's widow. He's very much in love with her, but tragically, she died just seven years later. Fast forward to 1906 when he was a psychiatrist at the asylum in Munich and encountered a woman, Auguste, who was just 51, but already severely demented. She was actually in full-scale uh, senility. She couldn't even recite the German alphabet. Five years later, she died prematurely at just age 56, so he performed an autopsy on her brain and discovered these protein tangles and correctly deduced that they caused her rapid onset senility. And the local medical community did hail him for this discovery. People weren't calling this disease Alzheimer's at that time, still calling it senility. But at least in Germany, he was highly regarded. He got the post of being chairman of the Department of Psychology at the Frederick Wilhelm University in 1913 in Breslau. But as he was traveling by carriage, he contracted a severe cold which developed into pneumonia and by 1915, he had died at just age 51. Now, here's the tragedy. Today, I would guess that virtually everyone on our planet knows the name Alzheimer. Even in the 90s, they were knowing If he could have just held out for another 85 years, another 80, darn, he would have realized that everyone would know his name. World fame, and he never knew about it. Even another 75 years. Sorry, Al. Now, until next time, may the power of the cosmos be with you. Yes. Yes, yes.